Bless up, good afternoon, my viewers. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the program, just continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment in our comment section because it is very valuable. When you leave a comment, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be amongst the first to be updated whenever a new video is dropped. So, quick and fast, we are giving a little update on the clangs case as it is right now clangsman gang trial lone female accused insists she is a community activist involved in charity work but yet still she's a apex 87 the lone female in the clangsman dan gang trial today insists that she is a charitable community activist who is not involved in any gang activities Stephanie Christie, who is said to be a pastor, told the court that she is a businesswoman who loves to care for the elderly and the young men in her community in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. The defendant told the court that she helps to get and attach youths in her community into academics and does so by hosting fundraising events such as football competition. There are persons who are depending on me and I am just a people person who jump around and is ready to help, she told the court in an unsworn statement. I am not a part of any gang and I am not a top tier member, she declared. The woman claimed she heard the terms top tier for the first time in court. Further, she claims she would have known all the members of the alleged gang if she was a top-tiered member and had attended gang meetings like the witness had allegedly said. She denied the allegations. Christy, over, however, told the court that she knew Andre Bryan, the alleged gang leader, and that they are friends as they grow up in Jones Avenue in Spanish Town, but she insists that she is not involved in any gang or is a top tier member of any gang organization. So viewers, believe that for no judge for no self. Believe that part for no comment for no own. I will not say anything. Clang's gang trial defendant denies being gang member sites of his father. A man who is said to have been a community done in Spanish towns and catching did today declare that he would never join the clansman one Dan gang, claiming that alleged members had taken out his father. Defendant Peter Miller, who spoke with passion while giving an unsworn statement, further said that one of the, the Nakis was currently on trial with him. A voice said to be that of the gang's alleged second-in-command defendant Jason Sittipus Brown was heard in one of the secret recordings boasting that he had taken out Milan's father. Miller was among several defendants who today denied knowing reputed gang leader Andre Bryan while alleging that they are law-abiding citizens who are focused on their respective jobs. This was the claim from eight of the defendants who have so far testified in their own defense. One had hoped not to make any statement. They all claim that they met Brian for the first time when they appeared in the court in 2019. A brother of the reputed leader denied being a part of a criminal organization while also proclaiming his innocent. 29-year-old laborer Kevin Green also accused the witness of telling lies on him and a defendant, Calafia Williams, who had been described as a top shooter in the gang, told the court that he has never owned a firearm or a gun. He was the only one to give sworn evidence. He, however, denied being a contract knockist for the alleged gang and taking any orders to take out anyone. 
from the alleged gang leader. Another alleged community Dan defender, Daniel McKenzie, said he has never been a Dan for any community or anyone, while another defendant declared that he doesn't deal with criminal activities, stating he is focused and has been on his food shop. <laughs> Viewers, as I say, I leave it to you know, if you pick sense out of nonsense. And just drop some comment in our comment section. Family of Clarendon massacre person of interest in disbelief. The family of Roshan Barrett say it has been left devastated by the news of his alleged involvement in the gruesome knockings of a mother and her four children in Coca Peace, Clarendon. 31 year old Kimisha Wright, Kimanda Smith, Charlie Smith. Raphaelia Smith and the 23 month old Kishan Henry Jr. were found deceased at their home with their. You don't know the knocking go already. He has sparked, it has condemned and sparked a national commendation. Condemnation. Barnett, who was listed as a person of interest, remains in police custody along with his mother. The woman was taken into the police custody while her son surrendered to investigators probing the matter. His elderly brother, Oshane Barr, say his sibling turned up at the family's house in Wilson Run, Chilani, on Tuesday, professing his innocent and that it was their father who convinced him to surrender to the police to clear his name. He say he and members of his family are at loss. Me feel down, me feel bad, me feel cause me have a little picnic say, same way. Me have a baby mother and a child, so me feel down, he told the news team today. According to him, the family members share the same disbelief. You know say, a way daddy see him and him and daddy did a reason. Daddy did a tell himself to go in. Him say, him nah go do it, the man said when asked about the conversation with his brother. He note that his sibling surrendered to the police in the company of a lawyer. He said he is unclear on why his mother was taken into custody and that he has not received any much information about why. Viewers, this is where we leave the topic for now. Until another upload. Some of you have just leave some comment down below in our comment section. Turn on the post notification bell. Also when you subscribe. So viewers just continue to like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel. Yeah man. We'll be giving you a lot more updates. When it comes on to matters like these. So viewers. Continue to do.